Hey there, Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here with another edition of Inside the Vault. And in this video, we're going to cover camp shelters, hunt for the treasure hunter, and touch a little bit upon the patch coming out next week. Before we get started, I just wanted to let everybody know that we finally did it. <laughs> we made it to a thousand subscribers. And like I said in our previous Inside the Vault, if we made it to 500 subscribers, I'd get a new microphone. And if we made it to 1,000 subscribers, I'd get a new PC. Well, here it is. And for you computer nerds out there like me, it has an i7 10th generation processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and a GeForce RTX 2070 Super. I freaking had to bolt it to the floor just to keep it from blasting through the roof. And all of this wouldn't have been possible without each of you. And I truly enjoy this community we've built here, and I look forward to seeing it grow. So humbly, I say thank you. Today we're going to be contacting Bethy Butler, our inside source at Bethesda, to ask why some of the features in the new camp shelters are not working. And in fact, let's go ahead and get that out of the way right now. Thank you for calling Microsoft. Bethesda, this is Bethy. How may I assist you? Bethy. Naked Vault Dweller. I know you're super busy, so I won't take too much of your time. Cut to it naked. I'm about to go to Wendy's to get a McWapa to celebrate our recent excitement. Yeah, I heard about that. It's pretty neat stuff. I got a question. With the new camp shelters on the PTS, why is it that we can hang virtually anything anywhere? Well, Naked, the current state of camp shelters will obviously not be the end product of the camp shelters. <laughs> and to further that, some items that are missing from the camp build menu will most certainly be put in at a later time. So what you're saying is the camp shelters aren't finished yet, and we should just wait till the finished product. Duh. We're just testing the machines and the low capacity of the servers. Naked, instead of harassing me, why don't you go work on that little YouTube channel of yours? You up to like 20 subscribers yet? Actually, we hit a thousand subscribers this week. You're still a moron. I think Bethy likes me. I really do. Okay, so things to note with the new camp shelters. And as of right now, there's only three shelters available. One is the utility room, which is the standard shelter and the smallest. And you can access this shelter through some storm cellar doors that you can place virtually anywhere in your camp. Also to note that this shelter will be available to everyone who owns Fallout 76. Next, there'll be the lobby shelter that is going to be available to Fallout 1st subscribers. This shelter is going to be larger than the utility room shelter and has two versions of the entry doors. And finally, we have the atrium which is going to be exclusively offered through the Atomic Shop. And the atrium is the largest of the three shelters and obviously the grandest. And I've been asked how much the atrium might cost on the Atomic Shop. And if I had to fathom a guess, if a power armor scan costs 1,200 caps, how much would adding an additional 1,200 pounds of storage to your camp cost? And if I had to put a number to it, I'd say 4,200 caps. But again, that's just a guess. Additionally, PC players that purchase Fallout 76 through Bethesda have immediate access to the PTS, so they can check out camp shelters and other new content coming down the pipe. And speaking of coming down the pipe, Bethesda plans to release a patch on Tuesday, October 13th that will address community reported issues and bugs, as well as usher in new festive items for the Atomic Shop, and lay down some behind the scenes groundwork for the Steel Dawn update. And before you smash the device you're watching this on, Bethesda's promised that this release will be smaller than some of the releases they've had this year. And make sure to check out my server down video on Monday for any updated details about the patch and times that will be affected. Treasure Hunter Weekend is on the horizon. Those mole miners are at it again and this time those little suckers are going to be everywhere. Now level appropriate, players will be able to obtain legendary items as well as rare pels with new and exclusive plans. The Hunt for the Treasure Hunter event begins October 15th and will go all the way through October 19th with those mole miners in every region of the Fallout 76 universe. So what do you think about camp shelters and do you intend to purchase the atrium from the Atomic Shop when it finally does become available? I'd love to know your thoughts so leave us a comment down below and while you're there don't forget to like the video and hey subscribe if you haven't already we'd love to have you join us. And that's it for me Vault Dwellers so just remember Nice guys finish last, and so do losers. Thanks for watching. <laughs>